From ice wine cocktails to afternoon tea to the winter festival of lights, Niagara is filled with incredible experiences perfect for the holidays. I'm headed to Niagara to explore the bright lights and tasty treats that make Niagara one of my favorite winter wonderlands. We're here at Sue Ann Staff Estate Winery and we're going to be making some extravagant cocktails. Let's get into it. I am so excited for ice wine season and today I hear we're making an ice wine cocktail. Can you tell me what we're about to get into? Sure, we're going to make an ice wine kiss. It's an original recipe created by myself. Rim your glass with cinnamon sugar. Add one ounce of cinnamon flavored liqueur, two ounces of Sue Ann Staff's ice wine, and one ounce of local apple cider to a shaker with ice. Shake, pour, and top with fresh nutmeg. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers. That is incredible. Mm. Oh, that is the ice wine gives it that delicious sweetness. The Winter Festival of Lights has been lighting up Niagara Falls since 1982. It's Canada's foremost light festival with over 50 larger than life light displays. This free festival has spectacular displays with three million lights along the Niagara Parkway, stretching from Queen Victoria Park through Dufferin Islands and across Niagara Falls. Next stop is the Prince of Wales Hotel for afternoon tea. Guys, this hotel is decorated to the nines and feels so festive, so of course I had to make my way here. Mm. What's afternoon tea without a little bit of bubbly? Niagara is truly a winter wonderland. Whether you're browsing the holiday lights and decorations or doing one of the many activities, Niagara is the perfect place to spend the holidays. I'm Caitlin Narciso and this is my Niagara. Come on.